Hey y'all, here goes a lesson on exercises to do with arpeggios, going all up and down the neck, all the most common arpeggios, when they're built off the big string and when they're built off the fifth string instead. So you get totally different shapes going all the way up the neck. So we're gonna start out with the F major seven arpeggio. So basically how we're gonna get into this is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna play the arpeggio, I'll tell you how it goes. So this one is one and then open three and then two, three, two, one, open one. And since it's a major seven arpeggio, we can also use the note just below our root note. That is the major seven. Just like here's an F, there's an E, here's an F and an E. So this is our basic shape and we're going to turn this into a movable shape. So how the counting is going to go is I'm going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three, four. And then we're going to move to the next one. Let's try that first one. I'm going to give you a three, four to start each one of these. Three, four. Now let's look at this new one. This is a little different. We got two, one, four, three, four, three, two, one, two. So it's the exact same shape, but it's a little different when you're not using the open one, you know? So let's count in on that one. I'll give you the three, four. And then we're going to keep moving up the neck because now we have the same shape. So three, four. Last one, three, four. So we started on F, we went all the way up to E, so we got all the different notes of that. Okay, so that was the major seven arpeggio. And that is made of, if we look at this F major scale, it's made of the one and the three and the five and the seven. One, three, five, seven. Let's look at those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, three, five, and seven. One, three, five, and seven, one. Okay, so now we're gonna do the minor seven arpeggio. We're gonna start with E minor seven arpeggio. O three, and then two, and then O two, and then open, and then O three, O three. So almost a minor pentatonic scale, but it only has four notes. It's missing one of those notes. So the note it doesn't have is like that A note in there. It jumps right to the B. So this is like a one flat three five flat seven. One flat three five flat seven. One flat three. So let's try that. Three, four. So that's how we're gonna play that one. So let's start on the first fret. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. 
three, four. At that point, we started on E, we went all the way to the E flat or the D sharp, so we did them all there. So now we're going to move on to the dominant 7 arpeggio. So this one's going to be, starts out with the 1, 3, 5 again, but now it has a flat 7. So remember that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so we flat the 7 on this one. So we have 1, 3, and 5, the first note of the scale. Don't play the second, play the third, don't play the fourth, play the fifth, and then play the flat seven, and back to the one again. So that ends up being one, and then open three, and then one three, and then two by itself, and then one four, one five. So a big stretch there. So let's try that, three, four. Do the next one. This is going to be two, one, four, and then two, and then four, three, two, five, two, six. So one more time. Two, and then one and four, and then two and four. And it's helpful if you bring that first finger up into this new area to get you, to make it easy to play the other higher notes. And you could include that lower note if you want, if you have a flat, uh, flat seven below that, two frets below available. So we do here, so we might use that on the way back. So three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Okay, now we're going to jump down a string, so we're going to talk about this B flat here instead of the F. Makes all of the patterns change. So our major 7 is going to go 1 on that B flat note of the A string, 1st fret. 1, and then open 3, and then 2, 3, and then 3, 1, 5, and 6. So 1, open 3, 2, 3, 3, 1, 5, 6. And we can do that little half step below that because that's the major seven. So here we go. Three, four. Next one. Three, four. Next one. Three, four. Three, four. Three, 
great, and then we did them all for that. So open in three on the A string to the two, and then open two, and then one, and then open three and five. Then I go to the B, three, four. So it's a little different. One, four, three, one, three, two, one, four, six. Same pattern, of course. We could add some notes down there in that lower string if we want to to see how that scale would develop in the lower range. Three, four. So it might seem kind of boring, but man, when you get in there and you got to see all these different frets and work with the different fret markers and get used to these different shapes, and you want to be telling yourself like what the name of that root is that you started on to, say B minor seven. You're thinking about that B. C minor seven. Stuff like that. Okay, so back to the B flat, we're gonna do the dominant seven. So we got one, then we got open three, flat seven. If we think about the, the B flat major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna flat that seven. One, open, three, and then one, and then three, three, one, four, six this time, because that's that flat seven again. Here's your root, there's a the flat seven. So one, oh, three, one, three, three, one, four, six. And you could add that kind of thing if you want to there. So let's try it again. Three, four. Let's go to this one now. Two, one, four, and two, four. Four, four, two, five, seven. Now the C7. You could add that flat 7 here now if you want. 3, 4. So practice those a lot, man. Try to get them fast. Try to just visualize those shapes because you're going to come across some chords. You're going to come across major sevens and dominant sevens and minor sevens. And if you can see where the root note is to give you an area where the chord is based out of. Or say you had a D7. Or you had a D major seven. 
very helpful to know all those things. You can negotiate chord changes way easier. You can understand how the modes work better and all that kind of stuff. Thanks a lot. Please like and subscribe. Uh, let us know what you'd like to hear. I'm Damon Wood. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Take it easy.